hello guys welcome to the 12th part of the series so in the previous video we have seen how we have managed to fetch all our contacts so in this video we are going to create a model where we will be able to uh, get all these details nicely in best UI format and we will be able to delete the users so let's start first creating a model so in order to create a model you need to install a dependency called react bootstrap so we'll go to the terminal and we will go to our client folder and I will add my new package like react bootstrap so this is the package name react bootstrap so this will take a bit time to install so as you can see our project has been installed now we can start using it so we'll go to this all contact page and I'll remove this commented line of code and we can actually uh, grab our this model so I'll go step back and I'll copy this and I'll paste it here so we need to import this as well model so we'll go here to up and we'll import the model so I'll write here import from react bootstrap and we are going to import the model and as you can see this is it and we can actually uh, set some value like to show model when but before we do that so firstly we have to remove these two buttons and I'll write here simply a single button button with a class name of button let's suppose info and I will write here close so I think this is it for now and we can also remove this model and we can now start using this model so I'll go up here and create a new state like const so model and set so model to use state to false so by default the model will be false so if I'll go here and I'll pass him here some arguments like so to be so model and it will have on hide function and we will set the so model to false and I think it should work because we will go here and we will wrap, wrap this with on click event and I will write here set so model to be true so let's see this if this works or not so if I will click here as you can see our model has been showing nicely as you can see this is a very cool animation so now now let's start uh, getting our data here so in order to do that so firstly we have to pass here some arguments like uh, when we click there uh, we are going to uh, set some arguments so uh, to do that firstly we have to create a component we can do it uh, using two ways we can actually create a component or directly create here a state that will fetch all our data so I'll create here model data and I'll write here set model data and by default uh, this is going to be null so let's go here and write something so we'll go here and we will wrap this in curly braces so before we do that firstly we'll write set model data to empty object because if we'll switch from one model to another model we need to first clear the previous data so once we do that we can now actually write here set model data to the contact and now we can actually access here 
our data so we are setting our model data here and we are setting the show model to be true so now uh, we can go here and display our model data dot name I'll copy this and I will paste here the address and I'm going to type here address similarly I'm going to replicate this I'm going to type here email and then phone number so if I'll go to the Firefox so if I'll click here right now as you can see we are immediately getting our uh, model that is as you can see we are getting the name we are getting the address we are getting the email and the phone number so we can see actually we can close this as well so we have to make this fully functional so I'll write here on click and we will write set so model to be false and we are actually going to make this uh, warning let's suppose so we can actually click here and close this we have two ways to close this model first one and this one is second so I will also write here uh, h3 tag and I will write here model data dot name so if I'll go here and click here as you can see we are getting the name of the user uh, the address the email phone number and we can actually make this bold so I'll cut this paste it here and I'll do the same thing with these two fields so this looks pretty nice now and if I'll write here as you can see we are immediately getting the user emails so now uh, let's uh, create here a button that will delete this contact so I will create here one more button and this will have danger warning and we will not do anything for now so I will write here hello as you can see for we need to change this so I will write here delete contact or this subject delete so we will trigger here a event called delete contact and we're going to delete the contact and we're going to pass here a ID so now we can start creating our method here so I'll write const delete contact is equal to and this is going to take a ID and we will let it try catch error and then we, we can start making request so I will make fetch request to our backend and the method will be delete and we are going to attach our header that is authorization to bearer okay so I think I messed up somewhere locals okay let's do this again I think I messed up somewhere so I'll write fetch http colon localhost 8000 slash api slash contacts and we're going to make a method of delete we will put our headers here with a 
authorization local storage dot get item and we're going to pass our token and I think we need the parameter right so I'll go here and we'll go to the route to the contact and we have to pass here uh, our ID so I've actually written the wrong thing so I'll API slash contact if I'm not wrong let me see this this will be API slash and then delete and then ID right so I'll write here API slash delete slash and we'll write here the ID and I think it should work now if I'm not wrong so I'll write it const result is equal to await rest.json and we have to of course make this asynchronous function and if there were no error so if there will be an error then we can simply set the toast message so I'll write here const toast is equal to use context I'll write here toast context text okay so this is not showing I'll import the toast context from the we have to go up directory and we'll go to the context and the toast context and I'll pass my toast context here so if there will be any error then we can simply toast that error so toast dot error result dot error uh, but if there will be no error then we can just simply set toast dot success delete contact okay contact is not defined let's see where it is not defined so 114 contact is not defined okay so we have to write here model data dot id But before we do that, we uh, we need to first uh, add here a method of to confirm or not. So if I let here if confirm, are you sure you want to delete this contact? And I will write this in. So okay, we need to use window.confirm so if I'll click here and if I'll click on the delete button as you can see it is asking for are you sure you want to delete this contact so if I to cancel it won't delete but if I'll do here delete and if I'll click here ok as you can see it is saying deleted contact so if we'll close this and set the refresh and we'll go to the all contact as you can see our contact has been successfully deleted so we'll set here sets so model to false so let's see this as well so I'll add it delete and I'll do ok and as you can see it is saying deleted content and if I'll hit a refresh as you can see so we need to actually do here one thing if there will be no contacts then we don't want to show this table so I'll write here I will write here let's suppose if contacts dot 
that is contacts dot okay so let's first wrap this here contacts dot length if it is equal to zero uh, then we will show here a text of h3 that is no contacts created yet else uh, we are going to display this all I think I messed up here. So if that gets filled, then we can actually show this component. And in here, I will write here contacts dot length is equal to 0 then I'll show your h3 component no contacts created yet else I'm going to display this Okay, we need to put a question mark. So I, have, I was putting the wrong question mark here. So we need to wrap this into parentheses, and I think it should work fine. So as you can see, we are getting no contacts created yet. But if we we'll go to the create and let's create a new contact like the boxa at Mandu Kotis for the box at the rate gmail dot com. Let's suppose one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. If I later, as you can see, created contact and we'll go to the all contact as you can see, uh, we are able to get the contact of our user. We can similarly delete this user and we can close this model. So in this video, we have seen how to make, create this beautiful model and delete our user. So in the next video, we'll be seeing how to edit the contacts and later on, we will add the source functionality and our complete, our series will be successfully finished so i'll see you in the next video bye bye